746, welcome back to Daybreak. A voluntary re recall is issued for two items this morning that parents need to know about. The first one, the Nap Nanny Recliner. We've talked about this. The other one, the Fisher Price Rock and Play Infant Sleeper. Joining us this morning to talk about it, our recall specialist, Cami Snowbarger. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes, certainly. This Nap Nanny, this has been in the news for the last couple of months. What's the problem with it? These were originally recalled back in 2010, and um, then they made some changes to the design to improve it, but that still didn't uh, prevent accidents from happening with it. And actually, there have been five deaths that have resulted from the uh, improper use of the nap nanny. And what happens is the baby can roll over and fall like this out of And then they're suspended the here yeah. by this buckle and so they could suffocate if their face yes. was here. Or... And there were some cases where parents were using the nap nanny inside a crib and then when the child turned that way, their face got wedged between the crib and the nap nanny and they suffocated and died. It's really sad, but yes. it's improper use of the nap nanny that has led to these deaths. So the nap nanny manufacturer tried to fight the recall and said it's not the product. We have it labeled telling you how yes. not to use it and people are still doing it. But they basically just didn't have enough money to fight and went out of business. Yes, there were, and they tried different design changes, but there were still incidents occurring um, and there was even the latest model that they released there was another death that occurred with that. Mm, that and is really sad. Now what else I think a lot of people don't realize is that you're the nap nanny why would you buy it? Well as a mom you buy it so you could put your baby down and yes. fold laundry or something. It says not to ever leave a child unattended. In no it. no it's it uh, was meant to be used with the mom or the dad or um, the caregiver there with the baby while they were napping to make sure that they the, don't fall the out. only safe place to leave your child unattended is in a safe crib so that's something that's kind of hard for us to yeah. you know because pack and plays and I mean there are lots of times it's hard as a mom you can't be in the room all the time when they're in a swing okay this is the other one this is the Fisher Price uh, uh, this is the Fisher Price rock and play sleeper and this it's kind of a different recall because you don't send the product back and you don't get a refund from the company. Basically, they just want you to look underneath and check and see if you have molds on this lining this in here. This bottom part, because it can't come off. This is permanently attached. It can't be removed for washing. Um, and parents weren't checking it and weren't cleaning it regularly. Well, no, regularly. you wouldn't even really think about it. I mean, if you had like a bad diaper issue, you'd think, but like a bottle could leak or the baby could spit up. You yes. might not even see or know. So moisture could get down in here. Yes. So Fisher Price says moms and dads need to like get bleach spray or what do you do if you can't take this? Yes, they have instructions now on their website for how you can properly clean that so that you don't have black molds growing in there because of course you don't want your baby breathing that in. No. Oh, that would be really dangerous for their health. Cammie, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming in. We appreciate it. We have more information for you about both of these recalls. The nap nanny should not be used, and then the rock and play sleeper, you can clean it. If you want to find out more about the recalls, go to fox23.com, click on the Fox box, and search infant sleeper recalls.